I'm a real deal. I'll shoot your liver out and hand it to you. Here we are with another podcast. Chad, you are basically, what, this is the third time you've been on the podcast now? Um, I think it's the, well, it's the second official podcast, but I, I was a guest on your Cue It Up Cup. Yeah, so you're like, you what, you, you buy stock or something like that? Why, why can't I get rid of you? <laughs> uh, I just keep, uh, keep I'm, I'm a nit. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. This is the second time I've done an event or a podcast similar to this where I come across a format for some sort of event and I like it and I think it's a really neat thing that would be good to put across the country in different ways. So, spoiler alert, we're going to be talking about a format uh, or I guess an event that you're going to do that has a really, really neat format. And we also have Tony here as well, who's going to be on the other team, right? Yes. So, uh, welcome to the podcast. Appreciate it. Thank you. And, uh, well, why don't we go through the backstory of how it were? Well, take us through the actual match itself to start out with. What, uh, what's going to happen and how is, how's the format going to be, I guess, played out? Okay, I'll, I guess I'll take that one. What, basically what we're doing is we're doing a Moscone format. Um, not completely, not absolutely, but a scotch, scotch match, you know, singles match, scotch match, singles match alternated um, with uh, five-man teams. Um, races to five, 10 ball on a bar table with, uh, with the whole match being race to 11 points. So that's, that's basically it in a nutshell is, is that's how we're doing it. Yeah. Basically what Chad just said, we're, we haven't, uh, we talked about, you know, the rules and everything yesterday. We went through kind of how we're going to do it. And there's a couple things missing that the Moscone cup has. Like, I think if they have all ball fouls, we're not doing that. We're just doing cue ball fouls and, and then we're we talked we discussed about re re uh, are doing our lineup every five every five matches, and you know, I think they did it in days. We're doing all this in one day, so we're completing this all in one day, and we're playing on two tables. And with and uh, the Moscone Cup is all played on one table, you know, and it's over three it's either three or four days or something like that. So we're kind of condensing it and putting it into one day and on two tables, and then then it's on a bar table, so it'll probably you know. It'd be a lot faster kind of action. Gotcha. So uh, these are going to be teams. You guys are the captains of your respective teams. How did you actually pick the teams that are that you're playing with? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll let ahead. me start, Tony, because it, it's kind of funny. I, you know, basically, what happened was I was sitting on the couch just watching TV, and I was just I, and I was kind of dying for a little bit of action. And so, and 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 Abby, my wife, says. What are you doing? And I said, oh, I'm just throwing something out there. She goes, what are you throwing out there? And I said, oh, just a little challenge. And she goes, oh, no, what are you doing? And uh, and so basically what I did is I just put it out on Facebook and I said, hey, I will play anyone in the st- state of Colorado, a five-man team match. Here's my lineup. And I gave them the names and I said, it's me and it's, uh, and it's Adam Cisneros and it's Larry Romero, Jonathan Lopez, and Danny Olson, who spends time in South Dakota and Colorado. I said, there's my five-man team. Anyone in Colorado, you guys put together a five-man team, and you go ahead and, and, and you know, we'll, we'll, we'll play. You know, and, and that, 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 was the, that was the challenge that I threw out there. And, and I will say, Tony doesn't even know this probably, but I will say the reason I didn't pick Tony uh, for, for, like, the guy that I would choose to be on my team is because I knew, I absolutely knew that he was going to be the guy to put together the opposing team. And, you know, like there's a lot of people that talk and then there's people that do. And Tony does. And, and I thought, OK, man, this is, it was like built for Tony Piazza to say, <laughs> all right, I got this. <laughs> you know? So, Tony, why don't you tell me about Facebook. your team? It was like Facebook. Totally. I mean, that's all it started. And Chad's action, too. So I knew it was real. I read it, too. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. And, I, I, you know, I just the challenge was like it was just it was I've, I've played the format one time and it's the most fun absolute most fun tournament format i think you can play i mean it's intense the intensity of the thing i mean of the of the tournament itself for the match and then chad is all you know chad's one of some of the best action in colorado he's a great guy and he's always he's always you know putting somebody in the box or playing himself so he's action and it's fun 
And, you know, and then he comes with his team that he lists and those, you know, those are local, local, uh, you know, our local best right there. And I mean, we have a big pool of players here. So, I mean, he, you know, he's got five of the best. I mean, all the guys are great guys and they all can run racks on bar tables. I mean, just it's fact. So I was like, okay, here we go. A little action with Chad and uh, let me round up a team real quick. And I just went for, picked out of the Denver pool. Uh, you know, our pool, as as far as pool players go, our pool player pool, or whatever you call it. And, uh, yeah, and it just kind of ended up a Facebook thing. And then it was on, what, that night, maybe eight hours later, we were, we were, we were sewing up the match and getting it ready. And it was, I mean, it's going to be fun. That's for sure. It's going to be yeah, fun. Yeah, throw, throw your teammates. Yeah, throw, throw oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Teammates. yeah. My yeah. Uh, teammates are uh, Stefan Wyatt who is kind of new to the Denver scene. He, um, I think he moved here about a year and a half ago. Super nice guy. Owns, uh, owns the Smoothie King here and owns the Smoothie King up on 144th and I-25. Real thick guy. Plays pool. Uh, plays for real good pool. And then, uh, so had him on the team. Um, we got Steve, Steve Chan, who runs one of the pool rooms, local pool rooms here in Colorado, Mile High Billiards, works over there. Real good pool player, friend of Everyone that's on Chad's team too. Um, Adam King, another local, real good player, real good player. Uh, played with him in Vegas. I mean, he's played, he's won several tournaments, big turn our big bar, bar table tournaments, I'd say. And then, uh, and Greg Romero, who's won the BCA in Vegas, uh, champion in, in his own right. And all, everybody on Chad's team's a champion too, dude. The killers, they're all killers. This looks like a, such a good matchup on paper. I mean, it's pick your team. Races to five, short races. Uh, I mean, if you go, if you go either way, whoever breaks good and executes, you no know, performs in crunch time, it should be fun. It should be just a lot of fun. I'll throw this out too, man. Like I agree with everything you said, and but one of the things I would throw out is is the way that Tony structured his team. You know, he's like, okay, I'm going to find the best rotation players I can find, but you know, but I, Nate, I I opened the door. Like I was basically talking talking a lot of smack with, you know, with, with my team. And I, and I, I didn't put any limitations on it. I didn't put any sort of like, you can, you can choose this guy, but you can't have that guy or, you know, no pros and no this and no that. And I didn't put any limitations to it. And I, I it really was an invite to Tony to build a team. And, and, you know, and I, I really respect the way he did it because he went out there. He didn't go out and get like the, 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 the four, professional players that play and you know play and, and say okay we, yeah we'll play you <laughs> you know he went out what he went out and he went out and got something that was really competitive because tony likes to compete as much as he likes to win money playing pool he likes to compete and he put together a team that coincidentally i don't even know if he researched this but but combined fargo rating between the two teams are within 20 points we're like third what 33 90 and 33 70 combined fargo rating between wow the two teams. that's crazy it, yeah it's nuts. And, uh, you know, and I, to me. yeah, and it's, it's, a, and he basically b- built, built a team that would be, that would compete well, um, and would be exciting to watch and, um, you know, and, and would test him, you know, cause Tony doesn't, would he never looks for the easy money. He's always chasing the, the toughest match he can find, you know, so he built a great team that, that is going to be, I think it's going to be really exciting to watch. And I should point out that it's also being live streamed. Shane Guido out of Colorado Springs has SMFG Billiards. Tag Shane's page, Nate, if you can. And, you know, it, and I'd love to get him some, a little bit of run for what he's doing. He's going to come up from Colorado Springs, which is a, for those that don't know, it's about an hour and a half drive up to, to where we're going to be playing. And he's going to spend 12, 13 hours with us filming two tables all day. So, um, the, the awesome. Awesome. Yeah, it's, it's just going to be so good. And, um, and I don't know. And the other thing is like all 10 of us, we're all friends. Like there, there isn't anybody that doesn't like somebody, you know, on this, but I'll tell you what, we're, we're gunning for each other for sure for this match. Oh yeah. There, oh, there yeah. will be no love lost yeah. for about 13 hours. Then we'll hug yeah. it out at the end. Yeah. That's <laughs> for sure. I guess that knocked off two of my questions. You guys just answered, uh, accidentally, but, uh, what is the, what's the gamble between the two teams? Thousand a man, thousand a man, 10,000 in the middle. That's, and that's then there's good. tons of little bet for a team for a little team match. One yeah, day for a one day match. Yeah. yeah. It, well, the other thing is, there's I don't know if you've seen it on Facebook, Nate, but 
but uh, um, when I when I posted the flyer this morning for the match, I mean, there's side action everywhere. People are on um, the side bet. Yeah, I already oh, got a yeah. calls. What's going on? <laughs> trying to get an inside scoop. How yeah. do you feel? All this, all those questions. Yeah, and I'm just like, dude, it, I don't know. It's it's going to be my guess. Thing. My guess is it wouldn't surprise me if there's about fifty thousand at stake on this thing because everybody around here um, knows us and they know all of us and they know what what we're all capable of. And then they just have to decide which team they think is going to bring it that day. You know, yep. it's, it's uh, I mean, I really believe it's that, you know? Um, so, um, so yeah, so there, there's a total of 10,000 officially in the middle, but who knows what's going to happen on the side. I have no clue. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of side action, <laughs> friendly sweat bets up and down the whole Colorado line. Wyoming people are trying, you know, our Wyoming family of pool players are pretty close to us too. So they, you, you know, there's a thing we played last year called Border Wars, but they they they're familiar with these kind of matches, and they come down to Denver. They've been down to Denver. Chad actually played Team Wyoming two years ago, and we played Team yes, Wyoming right. last year up in Wyoming, same kind of format, and it it was on. I mean, it's just gloves off. It was fun, you know. I mean, it gets pretty serious, dude. Nobody wants to lose. That's the last thing. Yeah, thousand bucks. Even about the money. It you know really the, the the money the money's nice to win, but God, you, you know what? It's about looking looking at your opponent and and winning. You know, it's about it's it's about it's really about shaking hands and going, yeah, I got the best of you today. <laughs> you know, winning and that I might point, and I, and I might point. yeah, and I might not and I might not have the best of you tomorrow, but today I did, and that felt great. <laughs> you know, like you know, and, and you know, it's it the uh, the game is um, is lacking that in my opinion. To me. A lot of people are just looking for a lock, you know, when they when they play for money. And and I, you know, and that's one of the reasons I said what I said about what Tony did. You know, Tony could have put together what he considered a lock, you know, but that wouldn't have been any fun for him. He would have just been like, Chad, thanks for letting me steal. See you later, you know, or whatever, you know, and maybe we still would have beat him. Who knows? Shit, but, man, I don't think, I mean, you, you know, know a lot saying. of teams that aren't stealing against your team. But yes, that's true. I mean. I felt like the door was open a little bit there because you got Danny Olson and he is from South Dakota and he's probably, he is the highest ranked player in, out of all 10 of us. And he has the most, probably the most pro experience, I would say, for tournaments. And, you know, I think, I mean, he's, he's the highest, probably, he is the highest rated player and pro, I would, I would put him as the best player out of all of us, out, out of all 10 of us, no doubt. Well, if so, it's not you, now, it's him. I thought about like, uh, you know, I spread myself around Colorado a little bit for, I mean, I won't go over any names. So I don't want any feelings. I've already talked to a few friends about not putting them on the team. And it was because it was kind of, I, I mean, I put it together kind of fast, too. But, I mean, you know, just trying to keep it in Denver, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a lot of other players that could be on either one of our teams that could show up and win more points or do just as good as we're doing or, you know. So there's a lot of players left still that, you know, they saw this come to fruition and they're like god i'd love to play i'm chad's team my team let's do this they're trying to get their team so we might have sparked something hopefully we did more of these to come especially the losers going to want a rematch i know that that's for damn sure oh th- well that's i was gonna say that like uh and maybe, maybe you have this maybe maybe i'm stealing another question from you but yeah yep, but i already told <laughs> what's that yep you are <laughs> all right makes so my job what easy I, yeah, well, what I what I told Tony last night is like, you know, you know, the loser is just going to be sore, and you know, the loser is going to be begging for a rematch, and uh, and you know, and, and as Nate knows, and and Tony knows, my, my wife manages a bar in, in Broomfield, which is a suburb of Denver called Zoosters, and so I said I want the match there, and you know, and that was basically one of the one of the things that 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 you know I said this is what we're going to do. We'll challenge anybody playing out of here, but uh, the rematch. The rematch is going to have to be at Piazza's because Tony's opening a, a new pool room out here in the Denver Thanks area. Thanks for plugging that. Yeah, well, I was of course, be- dude. Nice, dude. I'm, I'm not going to let that get away. And but but the rematch is going to be. I mean, Tony's the, Tony's room is probably going to be all about the action in this area. And and so when it's time for the rematch, I know where it's going to be. I already I already know. I'm just going to have to get a hotel room down there, which is about 45 minutes away, and just you know be nice. prepared to sweat it for 16 hours. <laughs> nice. You know, but. But, but yeah, I mean, it's whoever, however this goes, it doesn't matter who wins, it doesn't matter who loses. There's going to be a rematch. There's no doubt in my mind that that the losing team is going to say, "Is going to say, let's go." <laughs> you know? And if there were enough time to do it in a day, in the same day, you'd probably do it. They flip the coin again. Let's go. No doubt. 
Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I still don't think you guys have given the date for this. So when is this all going down? July 25th. July 25th at Zoosters in Colorado. Yep. And that is a uh, Saturday. And, and what we did is we set it up. Um, I actually talked to the streamer Shane today to confirm that it, w- that it would work out well. The way we did it, and I'm, I'm hoping that this format works. And, and you know, and, and like one of the reasons you did this podcast, Nate, was because you wanted to give people the ability, give them some insight as to what might be possible in their area. And so what we, what, what I would encourage people to do is watch the stream and then give us some feedback on how it worked. What we decided to do was do, um, the, we're starting at noon and in order, we, and the conversation where it started was, should we do a shot clock? So we can get this done in one day. Yeah, that was another rule we didn't and be that excluded was, from the Moscow yeah, for sure. Yeah, and we're that. like, we're like, oh, screw this. We're all friends. Let's all make a gentleman's agreement to play at a reasonable pace. And if you need some time to take a shot, go ahead and take it. But but let's try and get this done, and you know, in in one day. And and the idea was race to five. Let's keep it in an hour. So what we did, Nate, is we we scheduled. We're going to do our singles matches at noon, one, two, three, four, and so on. And we're going to do our, our scotch doubles matches are going to be at 1230, 130, 230, and 330, and so on. So, so Shane can stream from, from both tables. And if he has an, you know, if he has some downtime on one table because the match went really fast, then it gives him the ability to really concentrate on the doubles match or the singles match, whichever one is, is still going. Um, it also keeps us on a pretty good clock so that if we end up going hill, hill, this thing is still done in about 12 hours. And, you know, and, and that's, a, that's a long day, but at the same time, to be able to complete that many matches in one day, um, that was the format we chose that we thought gave us the best chance. Yeah, for sure. And then, Nate, you know, there's always a possibility it might just go 11 matches, too, you know. Ah, <laughs> ah, I see what you did there. But, but you're I didn't supposed do it. That there. sucked. You're, you're supposed to imply that uh, you're going to win at least one of your matches, so we know which side it is. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, and I don't. I don't know how. I'm not sure how Tony's match went. I can't remember how that thing. You could probably fill you in. But when I did that, when I did this um, match, when we did Colorado versus Wyoming, um, we were um, my team went up. God, we were up nine to four, and we ended up losing double hill. So, like, I mean, I'm telling you, the, the intensity of these matches is insane. And the, 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 I mean, people just, it's, it, it, pride just takes over and you're just like, I'm not losing. I'm not losing. And, and, and when Wyoming beat us, man, those guys just fought every inch. And, and so it, it, there's a lot of drama that happens in these things. It's pretty cool. Dude, playing VNEA, BCA and all these team tournaments over the years, we're going to Vegas. I don't know how many years, you know, 15, 20 years worth of these tournaments. And that was the first month's Moscone format I played. Up when we went, we went to Larry me, uh, Larry me, Wyoming to play these guys, and the like you said, it was the most pressure, most fun. Turn, we, I remember when we were playing we were like, for it was like the prize was five hundred a man, but the pride to beat Wyoming and bring the title back to Colorado. I mean, uh, you know, it was like a mini Moscow thing, like USA versus Europe, dude. I mean, it was intense. It was fun. The pressure was real. I mm-hmm. mean, it was crazy. It was it was fun for sure. I hope it takes off too. And that was another thing. I mean, you kind of plugged my bar a little bit, Nate, um, which I'm in the process of opening up a kind of a pool room slash sports bar. But that's one thing that I want to implement is a, uh, a lot of team tournament play. And we might have the capability. There's a place right next to our bar that is, there's an event center there. I was talking to Chad a little bit about it, but there's 15,000 square feet. I got a guy who can bring in 30, 40 bar tables pretty much on call, if, you know, if we set it up like that. And then I was hoping to get team, teams from Canada in there, teams from the Midwest. I know a lot of Midwest teams. That's where I'm from. Um, almost like a mini Vegas. I mean, I would love for it to take off like that, but uh, just because I love the team events so much and it's so much fun and you meet a lot of friends too through team events. You know, you, you have a lot of relationships in me. Not a lot of singles relationships you have. More, It's more one-on-one, and you say good match, and you kind of go your way. But the teams seem to have, you know, have some beers after. It's more of a social thing, but it's very, very competitive at the same time. So that's what, that's what I love about it. Yeah, I think it's a lot easier for the fans to get involved 
when you have team events as well. It, it just seems like all of the biggest events throughout the year uh, tend to be some sort of uh, team events, uh, whether it be the World Cup of Pool or whether it's the Moscone Cup. Uh, it, it definitely seems like those are a lot easier to market. So uh, I think the I think the format's cool. I think it's a really good idea, and I, I'm pretty excited to tune in and watch uh, at least part of this. Uh, why don't you tell us again when it is and how people can watch it? Okay, so it is July 25th um, at Zoosters in Broomfield, Colorado, starting at noon. That's uh, Mountain Standard Time. And then um, you can watch the stream on SMFG Billiards uh, fan page. So if you go to the, if you go to the, his page, then you can, you'll be able to, you'll be able to watch the stream. And, and Nate, if I could provide you, what I'll do is I'll ask Shane to provide you with a link and maybe you can, you can put that up with, uh, um, once this goes. But, um, the last time we did, I did a stream with, with Shane. We had, uh, we had a single, we had, we had a, a, a match between, Danny Olson and Adam Cisneros that was live streamed and we had over 7,000 views. It was like 7,600 views watching those guys play nice. Nice. a match. I, based on the, based on the hype that's going on around the state here, I wouldn't surprise me if 20, 30,000 people tuned into this one. Wow. I think that, you know, I, I, I really believe that. I really believe that because, you know, the, the, that's um, awesome. that's well, awesome. especially with I Nate's help, I, with, with Nate's help, you know, to try to promote this. And yeah, I mean, one of the things I will tell you is like, the 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 idea but behind um a team structure like you like what tony said and i i i think that maybe got missed in in the conversation here in that he didn't necessarily emphasize it just because he believes in it so much that it just is automatic for him is he says you know team play versus uh, singles play it's a single sport unless you make it a team sport and the i think that's a really really important statement because once you make something like this a team sport, Nate, what you were talking about with Moscone and World Cup of Pool and these team events, they're exciting, they're dramatic, and they're, um, and that's what grows the game. The other thing it does is, in my view, in my view, what 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 really grows the game is when people believe in other people. And you know, I've gotten behind a lot of players. Tony knows that. That's a strong of, statement, bro. I love it. I love it, dude. Like, yeah, it's true, dude. Yeah, you. Put, you get behind people and you make them better. You make them want to be better. You, you, they start paying attention. They start seeing things. They never forget the shot they missed that cost their team the match, you know? And so they go and they hit that ball a thousand times. They're never going to miss that ball again, ever. But when they do, when you do it in a singles, the only person you're accountable is yourself. But when you let your whole team down or you have the potential to let your whole team down, there's a lot of pressure. So it builds you, it just builds a whole different dynamic into the, into the sport. And I think the sport needs that kind of growth in order to, um, in order to get, not only get back to where it used to be, I'm, I'm almost tired of hearing that. What I, what I almost want to say is let's not go back where it used to be. Let's take it beyond where it used to be and let's turn this into a mainstream thing because it really is that good. You know, and Nate, I know you've always agreed with that, but you, you, You've never, uh, you and I in, in, in our lifetimes have never seen it um, transpire that way. I think if this is implemented, uh, I, I mean, if it, I think if it gets buy in throughout the rest of the country, of course, anytime you're creating more interesting, fun content that people are able to get excited about, it's definitely going to be a good thing. So I, I can All agree right. with that. So July 25th, uh, it sounds like a pretty cool format. I'm I'm definitely going to tune in and watch it. I think it's going to be a fun one. And it sounds like there's going to be some pretty good players that are playing in it too. So uh, I guess this sounds like a fun format. I hope it gets implemented more places. And uh, I really appreciate you guys coming on and telling me about your matchup. Right on. Thanks, Nate. Nate, thanks a lot for the time. I can't believe you let me on three times in a row. <laughs> well, don't get used to it. Maybe I'll bring your uh, <laughs> your wife on next. She's, she's a lot there you more... Go appealing and charming than you are anyways yeah i'm the one that has a face for radio she's different <laughs> all right guys. Yeah, if you make it out to colorado we'll have to uh, meet face to face for sure yeah for sure i'll even let you buy the first round <laughs> you got it bro. there we go <laughs> sounds perfect all right guys oh uh, thanks for joining thanks again, me again. all right have a good one Nate.
Hey everyone, thanks again for listening. If you've liked what you've heard and you want to contribute to the future content that will be made, consider joining the podcast's Patreon at www.patreon.com forward slash queue it up. Becoming a Patreon of the podcast will help to create all of the future content that the podcast will have. Special shout out to Dave Peters, Aaron Taylor, Pete Silsby, Morgan Lupton, Ben Young, Robert Miller, Andy Morse, and Bill Pelham for your generous contributions to the podcast's Patreon. If you ever need any more information on what the Patreon system is or how you can contribute outside of the Patreon, please reach out to the podcast or Nate himself. If you would like to contribute to the podcast for free, consider sharing any podcasts or the podcast page on Facebook itself. Also, leaving a review and a rating if you listen through iTunes. It helps others find the podcast. Thank you for listening, and we'll be back soon with another episode of the Cue It Up podcast.